Are you tired of constantly worrying about your blood sugar levels? The uncertainty that comes with managing high blood sugar or hyperglycemia can be overwhelming. The questions linger. How can I keep my energy up throughout the day? Or what long-term impacts might high blood sugar have on my health? Let's explore the concerns that you have about high blood sugar levels and how we can lower it effectively. The good thing is, some methods I will be sharing you can lower glucose levels faster than others. It would also be better if you can do all of this consistently. Number one, exercise regularly. Regular exercise is a great way to manage blood sugar levels, especially for those with diabetes or at risk. When you exercise, your body becomes more effective at using insulin, a key that helps cells take in sugar and lower blood sugar levels. Active muscles use sugar for energy, bringing down blood sugar while you're active. This also helps store sugar in your muscles, keeping blood sugar more stable. Exercise is helpful for weight management and preventing issues with insulin resistance. It builds and maintains muscle, making it easier for your body to use sugar. Even after exercise, your body keeps using sugar, continuing to lower blood sugar levels. Exercise benefits your heart and reduces the risk of heart issues related to diabetes. It also helps manage stress, promoting healthy blood sugar levels. Ultimately, regular exercise supports overall health by improving metabolism and maintaining balanced blood sugar levels. Number two, manage your carb and sugar intake. Watching the amount of carbs and sweets you eat is key to keeping your blood sugar levels in check. Carbs, like those in bread or pasta, turn into sugar or glucose in your body. Cutting back on sugary snacks and refined grains prevents sudden spikes in blood sugar. This helps your body use sugar better and keeps your blood sugar levels more balanced. So, it's all about finding the right balance in the types and amounts of carbs you eat to keep your blood sugar in a good range. Here are some carbohydrate foods and sweets that can spike your insulin and blood sugar level. Focusing on a more specific foods that Americans love, fast foods. These include donuts, pizza, burger, french fries, cakes, ice cream, mac and cheese, milkshakes, Try making your own food with less bread and sweets. Aim in quality protein from meat, high fiber foods from vegetables and healthy fats which can be found in fatty fish, avocado, olive oil, nuts, and seeds. Number three, eat more fiber. Eating more fiber contributes to lower blood glucose levels by slowing down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates resulting in a gradual release of glucose into the bloodstream. Fiber-rich diets improve insulin sensitivity, aiding in better glucose uptake and utilization. Additionally, certain types of fiber, like soluble fiber, directly influence glucose metabolism by reducing the absorption of glucose. The increased satiety provided by fiber promotes weight management, and fiber-rich foods generally have a lower glycemic index, ensuring more stable energy levels. Beyond blood sugar control, a high-fiber diet supports gut health, reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes, and positively impacts lipid profiles for overall metabolic well-being. Here's a list of some common high-fiber foods. Number 4. Drink water and stay hydrated. Drinking enough water is important for keeping your blood sugar levels in check. Being well hydrated helps your body use sugar efficiently and makes your cells more responsive to insulin. It also prevents your blood sugar from getting too high by supporting your kidneys in removing excess sugar through urine. Good hydration ensures that blood flows smoothly, helping glucose reach your cells for energy. Plus, staying hydrated can help you manage your appetite, preventing overeating and reducing the chance of consuming sugary foods that might affect your blood sugar levels. Enjoying the video? Make sure you are already subscribed in this channel to get notified for future uploads.
Number five, eat moderate portions. Eating the right amount of food is crucial for keeping your blood sugar levels steady. When you have moderate portions, it means you're not overwhelming your body with too much sugar at once, and this helps to keep your blood sugar in balance. It also allows your body to use insulin more effectively, which is important for controlling blood sugar. By avoiding overeating and maintaining a healthy weight, you're preventing problems with how your body handles sugar. So, eating moderate portions is like giving your body the right amount of energy without causing any sudden spikes in your blood sugar. Number six, choose foods with a low glycemic index. Picking foods with a low glycemic index is good for keeping your blood sugar levels steady. These foods release glucose into your bloodstream slowly during digestion, which prevents quick spikes in blood sugar. This gives you a steady and lasting supply of energy, and your body can use the sugar more efficiently. Choosing whole and less processed low GI foods is not only good for your overall health, but also helps in keeping your blood sugar stable, which is especially important if you have diabetes. It's about making choices that give you lasting energy and help manage your blood sugar better. Here's a list of food with their estimated glycemic index per 100 grams. Keep in mind that GI values can vary based on factors such as ripeness, preparation methods, and individual differences. The values provided are general estimates. Also, a glycemic index value tells you nothing about other nutritional information. For example, cantaloupe has a medium to high GI score, but it is a good source of vitamin C, beta carotene, and other important nutrients. Number seven, try to manage your stress levels. Keeping your stress in check is really important for controlling your blood sugar levels, especially if you have diabetes. When you're stressed, your body releases a hormone called cortisol, which can make your blood sugar go up. Managing stress means you're better at controlling cortisol, preventing it from making your blood sugar spike. It also helps you avoid stress eating, improves how your body uses sugar, and encourages healthier habits like regular exercise and good sleep. Essentially, it's about finding things that help you relax and creating a balanced routine that keeps your mind and body in good shape, which, in turn, helps keep your blood sugar in a healthier range. Number eight, get enough quality sleep. Getting enough good quality sleep is really important for keeping your blood sugar levels in check, especially if you have diabetes. When you sleep well, your body becomes better at using insulin. It also helps balance other hormones like cortisol, so your blood sugar doesn't go up too much. Good sleep supports your body in processing glucose, preventing problems with insulin, and keeping your blood sugar levels in a healthy range. So, making sure you have a regular sleep routine and avoiding late night snacks are simple but effective ways to take care of your overall health, including your blood sugar levels. Number nine, eat foods rich in chromium and magnesium. Eating foods with chromium and magnesium can help lower your blood sugar levels. Chromium helps insulin work better, allowing your body to use sugar more efficiently and preventing sudden spikes in blood sugar. Magnesium supports the way your body turns food into energy, improving how insulin functions and preventing problems with insulin resistance. You can find these minerals in everyday foods like broccoli, spinach, kale, Swiss chard, fish, bananas, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Including these foods in your diet is a simple and natural way to take care of your blood sugar. Keep in mind that everyone's health is unique. Before making any big changes to your diet or lifestyle, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions or concerns, it's best to have a chat with a healthcare professional. They can give you advice that fits your specific needs and make sure any changes you make are good for your overall health. Since we are talking about blood sugar levels, we can also lose weight effectively and naturally in this diet since both of these are connected. 
Click this video to know which foods to eat that are zero carbohydrates. Like, share, and subscribe.